Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Toriko Chapter 2. Okay, much shorter chapter this time. Not as short as most shonen chapters are, but... Or weekly shonen chapters anyway, though. But this chapter was really good once again, and it was I thought it was better than the last chapter. The last chapter was basically just the first chapter, obviously, so it was just setting up this world. And at least these two main characters, right? Toriko and Komatsu. Now, am I the only one here who wants Komatsu to die? I really do not like this type of character where he's, I mean, I'd understand if he was a little bit scared, but he freaks out over fucking everything. I don't like that kind of character, okay? And I really think that if he's, that if he lives, Toriko is just going to have a more difficult time. I mean, sure, he's real, really bad as character Toriko is, but still, I really think that Komatsu should die. I'm not saying Toriko kill him, you know, because for some reason, Toriko, I think, as of this chapter anyway, he's taking kind of a liking to him, unless he's just faking that. But, seriously, I think that Komatsu's gonna, gonna die eventually. And I think that would be good for the series. Because I do not like this kind of character at all. Okay. So, that aside, we finally got to see the Garara Gator in this chapter, and I have to admit, it looked really fucking badass. It looked really awesome, it did. I expected two things, though, were kind of disappointing. First of all, I expected it to be a lot huger. Okay, because it was built up as like the highest capture level possible. Or not the highest, but the one of the high, highest though, apparently. And, and when Toriko found it, apparently they found out that it's even higher than a stit level 5 capture level, which is supposed to be Toriko's highest level, you know. But then Toriko took it out in one fucking chapter. I'm getting One Piece vibes here. As you know, I recently started wa watching and reviewing One Piece. I finished the first arc. Okay. And then... He just... And he, one, Luffy just keeps... One-hitting one the villains, you know. Well, I'm getting major vibes from that here. Toriko just took him out. No time fucking flat. Okay. <sighs> But it was re looked really badass. I just really wish it would have gotten more screen time. That's really my biggest issue with this chapter, okay? That it was really anticlimactic, considering even though it was only two chapters so far, it w I, th I felt they did a really good job building up the Gurara Gator, okay? And just to see it go out like that was really fucking disappointing for me. All right. But other than that, the chapter was, once again, really good. A lot better than the previous chapter. I actually looked it up, and apparently, this is the end of the arc. Yeah, it's like called the uh, Garara Gator arc or something like that, I think. So yeah, I'm going to probably, before I move on to One Piece or maybe another manga or whatever, I'm probably going to do a, do the next arc, just because this was only two fucking chapters, you know. But anyways, I think I'm going to wrap up this review. Really good chapter. Um, I... I mean, it wasn't fantastic, but I really, but it was pretty good. I really hope it gets a lot better from here. So, anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.